Hello friends, this is Rahul Singh. So today we will learn how to create reports, charts and dashboard in RSA NetWitness. <coughs> okay, so so this is our dashboard, the main login page of RSA NetWitness. So we are in monitor tab. Now we will click on reports. Okay. See, okay reports. So first we, we, we can see there are multiple options are available one is rule where we can create rules which will uh, rule is basically a set of query which will run on database and will give you the output and we can call the same rule in the reports here in the reports there are no reports is there now charts is being used in dashboard so we do not have any active charts here so alerts we can enable alerts we have list and warehouse analytics so we will start with rules okay so there are some pre-configured by default rules are there let me check what is there boc exist we'll try to test okay so currently we can see <coughs> in the data source no data source is available so first we will do basic configuration we will add some data source to this reporting engine okay now to add data source first we go we need to go to the admin tab okay now here we will go to the reporting engine okay now view config yes so these are the basic configuration default configuration we will not discuss in details so we'll go to the source here we can see there is a no data source added to the reporting engine means we have to first add the data source from where the reporting engine take input okay so we'll go to the available services here we have four services available so we will choose concentrator okay because concentrator is the main our upstream okay so here we will provide credential admin credential net witness okay click on okay the data source has been added okay now can now we will go to monitor now reports so i will show you to create some basic rule first we will create a, a group this is nothing but you can just group your all the rules in your uh, suppose uh, there are multiple admin on the net witness and uh, so each each admin can create their own rule because this rule is already exist so rahul dot let it try okay so i will remove no So I have already created one group. So suppose I am an admin, and uh, so whenever we create any rule, I will put that rule in my one group. Okay. So this is Rahul. Now this is kind of folder. So I have created one folder where I will create all the rules. Now I click on the rules, uh, Rahul. Now here the rule option is available. Click on the plus icon and choose the net witness platform db okay here you can give the name of the rule okay anything like i'm just giving antivirus okay now here you will see options none count packet count size session size and custom okay and i will show you each and everything okay so count will show you the 
count number of events how many number of e number of events that some particular event source have okay so let me type device type okay here where is the where, where in where field you can write condition okay so antivirus i have given the name antivirus and i will write condition the condition will be similar that we have already discussed in investigation video okay whatever investigation you do in investigate tab, tab the same condition will be the same type of query will be used here like device type device dot type av okay device type equal to semantic av okay okay this is done in select field you have to give the name of the meta key that will uh, that you want to fetch in the report okay for example this is my concentrator decoder i will go to the device type semantic av okay semantic av the device type here we are getting all the logs related to antivirus okay now from your management you, uh, you received the request that uh, they want the host name in a report suppose you got, got a request they want host name details host name ip address virus name and file name and action okay so so you want to create a report which uh, which should contain all these meta keys and values so how will you create this meta keys okay so so how will you create a report to get all this data okay so we will see what all coming the antivirus logs okay so the file name is coming we can also include the file name file name is there yeah yeah the file name is there yes now username user dst is there virus name action is there now virus name is there okay now we can also add checksum means hash value checksum okay so now we have collected all the data so we have all the data now we will proceed to create report okay now this is the condition we only want logs events from the semantic antivirus okay now we will choose what all fields required host name ip address virus name okay host dot src okay why we choose host dot src because in in actual data data we have host dot src meta key where the host name is coming okay let me show you host dot src yes this is the host dot src where the host name is coming so we will choose the similar exact same meta key in our report as well okay so go to the report host dot src now comma virus name okay now file name okay 
now ip dot src now checksum okay now everything is covered yeah okay so here it's still we are seeing red because here we have to event count so we are uh, because we have multiple value the count will not be shown here so we will choose none or custom okay we will choose none now here limit is 20 <coughs> so we can increase to 200 it will show you maximum 200 we can 2000 it will show you 2000 if you choose 0 it will put no limit but it should be something so i will choose only 2000 okay now we will test the rule now here choose data source that we have already added so it will come here okay now it will show you the format in which format you want to get the report or for tabular as of now we will use tabular okay here the time range i will say five days okay so it depends on your requirement you can choose any time so click on run see now we are receiving a report good report yeah so here source and source host name virus name file name but in the most of the field we can see the host name is blank ip source is blank okay but i want i but i don't want these fields we we want each and every event must contain host name or ip source so what we will do it will enforce okay so we'll and with we will enforce host dot src exists so it will info now we will run must be there so it will fetch out only those event which has host dot src see now it is showing all the events having the source dot src event is present host dot src is present sorry okay so our rule is working fine now we will save this rule yes okay now we will create now we have created the rule now we convert this rule into we will call this rule into the report now we will create a report okay now again here you can also create group this is group this is my group under my folder you can say folder i will write the report name av report okay just keep the report name here it is asking to choose the rule okay so we have created rule in rahul folder just click on the rahul here is antivirus rule just drag it here okay that rule is called into this report now click on schedule okay now you have to write the schedule name av report anything you can write depend on your, depends on your requirement or name so here you have to choose the net witness platform db database okay here you can choose the time zone that depends on requirement i will leave it as it is okay now here you can choose the scheduler now letter hourly daily weekly monthly so depends on your requirement you can choose anything okay here you can write time range on how long uh, older data you want to run this report past two hours so i will choose here past five days okay that depends on you you can choose any time okay so the initial setup is in initial configuration has been done now notification in notification you can give there are few notification option is there email okay here you can write email uh, uh, 
to whom you want to be notified okay so here you can write the email address of your stakeholder or management manager or any concern team or your team okay and subject and uh, you can choose pdf csv format anything so the report will go in that format okay so as of now we will uh, run the report manually and we don't want to notify anyone so we'll leave it leave this option other option is also uh, where you can choose sftp url network share anywhere you can just send this report okay so i will run this report now let me schedule okay yes done scheduled so you will see in reports ab report one report is scheduled click on it see the report is completed now we can see the report see so we have manually created this rule uh, manually created and manually run so we can download from here we can download in pdf or csv i will download in pdf okay completed it is downloaded here see this is a nice report okay so now we will show you another example rules now we will create another rule suppose your management asked you to tell me the eps of each and every device source no? so we will write eps count count how many how many log source sending how much how, how, how much event per second or something just just count okay so we will choose event count option here for now we will choose event count in earlier we chose uh, chose none okay so here we will give device dot type exist it will enforce device dot type okay now select device dot type okay it will list out the, all the device type now will run it five days see so this fire ihxi 21 events snort has 29 events Palo Alto has 85 events Palo Alto network has 39,424 events so in this way we can create okay now instead of count we want to calculate the size how many log which log source consuming how many memory so we will choose session size okay now run see so fire has 20 20 kb 30 kb 22 mb parallel to network 22 mb okay so in this way we can create reports okay now we will create another report where device type equal to palo alto networks okay now we will choose ip.src what we want in our report we want a source ip destination ip and uh, so action source country con country dot source 
okay now we will run the rule now it is say it is selected on session size so it will not work because we have selected multiple meta keys so we will choose none okay then run this report see here we have source ip destination ip action source country source country in source country it is showing some values some numbers destination country why this is showing some numbers because this value is present in raw log or in our concentrate concentrator investigate tab so whatever present in source country meta key under meta key it will appear here so it depends on parser okay now we want only inbound traffic okay report of inbound traffic so here we will write direction inbound okay now click on test so it will give you only inbound traffic details see the source ip is external ip okay source country is united kingdom destination country is something our internal showing numbers okay so in this way we we will create a rule okay we will create a rule first okay now now for reports well, we'll go to reports again we'll give another sorry uh, this uh, let me delete this so already I have one group so we'll just give firewall inbound inbound traffic traffic okay now here here the rule is eps count because we have saved the name rule as a eps count okay now we will edit we will change the rule name firewall okay you can keep any name that depends on you saved okay now in the rule here the firewall is coming just drag drag it here and schedule the same you have to keep firewall inbound okay choose data source here time 2 hour 5 hour okay just you can click on schedule here so we have learned how to create reports in her senate witness now i will show you how to create charts okay now i will write other rule like a dashboard chart it should be appear in the, this chart can be called into the uh, dashboard okay so top source ip something like that okay now device dot class to firewall okay so the top destination must be uh, so okay now IP dot SRC SRC okay 
now we will test now we will choose buy okay run this report see so it will give you the chart there is a top 20 IP addresses and their count okay. we will save it okay the rule has been saved now we will go to chart okay now again we create a rule a group for charts now I have created one group Rahul under Rahul sorry top 20 top 20 source IP okay now here browse the rule top source IP will select okay here interval minute 5 minutes limit 10 okay test chart so I will cancel it let me run for last it's always done okay so this is coming in a line line chart so we will change in pie chart so it depends on your requirement you can choose area bar column okay anything <coughs> so step line bar it's not changing Okay, bar column. Okay, now we'll show you how to call this report in is this chart in dashboard. Okay. okay so select by okay so now save this okay saved now we will go to open monitor tab in other tab okay now to create dashboard how to create dashboard click on the plus icon here you can give any name my dashboard okay my dashboard let's click on create here will you can choose the number of columns one column two column three columns uh, two columns again three columns so I will choose here one column okay here it will display only one now I will choose type so here you can see multiple types admin health and wellness alarm so it will fetch out the alarm detail health health alarm details admin news admin service list so it's in various thing you can fetch from here but here we want to display our chart that we have created in, uh, earlier so real time chart is option is there just click on the real time chart now click on browse so in my folder Rahul there is one chart that I have created select that okay so here past hours you can give any 24 okay it will refresh in every five minutes okay click add here we can type 
chat type is by now click ok so it is not showing anything because empty it is showing empty so here let me increase time frame hundred ninety nine okay seventy two hours yes now our dashboard is created okay so here in this way we can create reports reports and charts before creating any report and chart first you need to create one rule then you have to call the rule in the report then same rule you have to call in charts so rule is important so first create rule then call this rule into the reports and charts okay so we have learned how to create reports charts and dashboards so so see you in the next video